When is the YouTube starting? Actually, Tommy, you're asking a good question. We're shooting my first episode. Okay, let me tell you what to expect from my first episode because I had thought uh, the one person that uh, I've been wanting like for dear life for the longest time when I was bl- doing the planation, uh, I wanted to debut with uh, a double interview actually. And that would have been uh, Taylor's episode and Andy Lempisane's episode. Um, well, and then then you'll know. Then we lost the account and shit. But now, uh, my my friends uh, they told me that okay, I need to because they also been like sitting on my ass. They're like, okay, you need to like do something. Hence, we we shooting my first episode tomorrow. And uh, well, my first episode, what you can expect is it will be. I would say a reintroduction of Homestemai as the girl, but it's going to be good. It's going to be good. But uh, I also thought it makes sense that before we get to the actual tea, then I need to introduce myself to, you know, to the YouTube people and to all of them, everybody people. But we're literally shooting tomorrow and, and it is going to be good. It is going to be good. But I'm still wanting to talk to Stello. I've been, actually, when I planned like months before, the one person I had already made up in in my head, I already made up that I want to debut with a double interview and it was going to be Andile's interview and uh, Stello's interview. But then since like, you know, there's a few of us, I'm just going to say that obviously now I can just gossip to you a little bit that Mam Kiza is my sponsor. She drew so much money at the thing, but you, you keep your mouth shut. So so we're good. We're fucking good. So I knew exactly that getting Andile to come to us is not going to be a problem because the mother, like, like I'm not fucking lying. And the mother, like, when did you give me money about? Mam Kiza in my leg two months back. Yeah. Two months ago when we finalized our meeting and the- Hi SR Squad. Now guys if you missed it yesterday Mr. Kaula was hosting a space and he mentioned that Mam Kize is the one who is sponsoring his YouTube channel career whatever and which was so crazy i made the video i will link it up on top left or right you guys and he said that before he got suspended on twitter he was planning to bring andy lempisani and sotelo shozi on his youtube channel uh, for an interview and he knew that is it won't be difficult to get andy lempisani because his mother is the one who is sponsoring everything and you guys, I must be honest, like honestly, I feel like somehow Jay Musa is lying because I can't imagine Andile Mbisani, you know, waking up in the morning, wearing his beautiful or expensive clothes, going to Musa Kaulala's um, interview. Not that I'm under I'm undermining Musa Kaula, but you know Musa Kaula's brand and it doesn't match with Mam Kisa's brand. Like I don't get how would Andy Lempisanu go to Musa Kaula's interview. Like I don't get it. I don't believe him sometimes honestly but then what if he's telling the truth? Because we were not there when he met um Mam Kise, right? And another thing, you guys, the fact that he said he would bring also Sid Taylor on his show, I don't know. And get me right, you guys, I'm not saying I'm undermining Musa Kaula, but I'm just matching like the brands, like the brands don't match. One plus one is not true because we know Musa Kaula's brand, like he always destroys other people, you know. And to think Sitella would go, like, would stoop that low to go on Musa Kaula's, I don't know. Maybe he, maybe he can bring Sibatle and Andy Lee. But with Sitella, uh, that one, I don't see it at all. Like, why would Sitella go to Musa Kaula's YouTube, whatever, you guys? 
but with Svatle, I would, I would, I would, I would say she can go because I, I remember she would um entertain Musa Kaula on his spaces, trying to explain what she doesn't even understand. You know, I would understand that. Okay, Svatle can go, cause yeah. They have been communicating on the spaces, but with Sitelo, you guys, I don't know. I I don't think also she can go. And everything is just messed up, you guys. Some people believe that, not even some people, most people think Musa Kaula is lying. And some just think Mam Kize um, gave Musa Kaula the money to just you know so that when he exposed other people he won't be talking bad things about the them business you know and i would also think the same because i can't say mom kiza is sponsoring musa kaola to get money from him no mom kiza is already rich you guys so i i can't say mom kiza did all of this if she did it like I don't think she did it because she wants Musa to work for him, whatever. I just think maybe she just wants Musa Kaula to stop talking shit about um her family, which is understandable because it's really not nice to be on the limelight every day being the topic of the day. But some people also believe that Mom Kise like it when people talk about her, like she loves she loves to be this famous millionaire or billionaire whatever being talked about every day so as our squad do comment down below and let me know if you think um sitelo shozi and andilem pisane would go to musa kaula actually let me know if you think sitelo would go to musa kaula's youtube channel you guys this interview thing do you think sitelo would go I mean, if it was McG, I would understand. And not only because McG has like a huge following, huge subscribers on, on YouTube. No, only because of the brand. Like, the, the, the brands don't match you guys. So if it was McG, even if he had 50,000 subscribers, I think, yes, they would go. But for Musa Kaula, for what? To do what? Like, to get what from all of this? So I don't know, you guys, but... Do let me know in the comment section what do you think about this whole thing. And also, we can also continue with the topic of uh, Mom Kiza sponsoring Musa Kaula, you guys. Do you think she did that to encourage Musa Kaula to, like, um, be spilling the tea on the socials? What do you think? Let's interact in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I really appreciate you so much.